Hi everyone, this is Bea from Responsive Muse. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use our YouTube playlist widget. It's very, very simple. Um, the most difficult part it might be um, getting the, the playlist ID, but you'll see it's, it is very simple. So once you download the widget and you drag it here, this is what you will see. So we're going to open the options. And here what you have to do is, you have, here you have to paste the, the playlist ID and then here you can set the, the, the height. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to select the widget and you can actually, you can stretch it to browsers with. And, you know, so it's, it's responsive. So the thing is that usually when you copy and paste the YouTube playlist embed code, um, you will find problems making it responsive since it sets fixed height and width. So what we can do in this widget is you can stretch it to browser's width and you can customize its own height. So um, I'm going to click on, let's say I'm going to make it 650. So you know the proportions make a bit more sense. So this is the cool thing about this widget that you can actually set it. So I'm going to preview. All right, so this is what you're going to see. Hi. Okay, this is my own playlist, by the way. And okay, so that remember that's the, that's the cool thing about the widget that you can actually customize the 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 height and the width, and you can make it responsive. So I'm going to show you now how to get the playlist ID. So you have to click up here in the in the link, okay, in the URL. So the I'm going to highlight what is the the playlist ID. So starting from here, from list equal, whatever comes after it is the playlist ID. All right. So this is what you have to copy and paste. Okay, but sometimes. You can find parameters, you know, before and after this. So make sure, um, I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to click another video. I think other parameters should appear now. Hi, everyone. This is Okay. So to identify it, go from least equal, you see this. So after the equal, all the letters and numbers that come after this should be the the playlist ID but be careful because let me see exactly as you see here it comes an and an index equal to so what you should paste is from least equal to and symbol all this in the middle is your playlist ID all right so remember from least equal and uh, what you find between least equal and and symbol is the playlist ID. So you're just going to copy this and you just have to come and bring it here to the widget and copy it here. Exactly. Well, actually, I just copy the same playlist ID. So if you have any doubt, you can comment this video and we'll try to help you out. Thank you very much for watching, guys.